What's up YouTube? Welcome to PhD in Waves. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different ways to do the no knot method. If you don't know what the no knot method is, it's basically a method or a way to tie your do-rag without a knot. This method was created by Wiz. You wanna check out his Instagram, I'm gonna leave it on the side. He has a lot of dope content, so I do wanna give him credit. All right, so first things first, why do people do the no knot method? People do the no knot method because some people experience a line in the back of their neck or they experience a dent in the back of their neck or it's a little bit uncomfortable when they tie a knot or ingrown hairs or some people just like the appearance of doing the no knot method it evenly distributes the force throughout your head and it's a much more comfortable way to avoid getting a line in the back of their neck so let me show you guys a couple different ways to do the no knot method all right so the first method that i am going to show you guys is the most common way to do the no knot method so basically you would just put your do-rag on normally as always you have the seam on the outside and then what you would do is you would grab the two uh strings put them behind your ears just like that after that what you would do is you want to grab one string and you want to wrap it around the back of your head just like that as you can see i wrapped it around and i'm keeping the string flat and with the other hand i'm just gonna you could just drop it behind your ear it's not really gonna go anywhere and you just wanna focus on one string. So I have one string in my hand. What I'm doing is I'm wrapping it around the front of my head, just like that. And then I'm gonna wrap it around the other ear, just like that. And the other string, just grip it so it doesn't move anywhere while you're moving this string. So I'm holding this string and I'm wrapping this around the back of my head again. And this part is very important. This part is where a lot of people get the no knot method wrong. What they do is, as you can see, it's wrapped behind my head for a second time. What they do is they just put, they grab like a little bit and they tuck it in just like that. What you wanna do is instead of just putting a little bit inside, you wanna, you wanna start earlier. You wanna lift up uh, the do-rag and you wanna get as much you wanna get as much tucked in as possible. That way the do-rag doesn't go anywhere. And after you have the first string tucked in, what you wanna do is you wanna get the other string, add the other string, and you wanna wrap it behind your head, just like the first string, bring it to the front. You wanna bring it to the front just like that. And then you wanna wrap it uh, over the front of your head and then you want to bring it behind your other ear and then you want to wrap it behind just like that and then what you want to do just like we did on this side you don't want to just put like a little bit in if you just put a little bit in as you can see it's loose it's loose what you want to do is when you're tucking in the string for the no knot method you want to put in as much as possible and you want to tuck it in hopefully you guys can see that and that way it's nice and tight it's not going anywhere it's nice and tight because i tucked in a good amount of the string and that's pretty much my method of doing the no knot method i always sleep with the no knot method and it never falls off my head and that's because i tuck in a good amount of the string and i make sure it's uh very tight tight enough where it's not gonna fall off, but not too tight where my head is starting to hurt. So that's the first way to do the no knot method. All right, so the second way to do the no knot method is very similar to the first way, but there's a little bit of a difference. So what you wanna do is you wanna start out, uh, like the first method, I put both strings behind my ear. And then what I did is I grabbed one string and I wrapped it around the back of my head, just like that. You wanna wrap it around the back of your head and you want to keep the other string hanging that's completely fine and then what you want to do is you want to wrap the string around your forehead then you want to wrap it behind your ear back around the back of your head and then here's the difference between this method and the first method 
what you want to do is you just want to keep this nice and flat you're not going to tuck it in and what you're going to do is you're going to grab the other string you want to wrap it behind your head while you're holding the other string and then i'm just going to overlap this string over the one that i didn't tuck in as you can see i didn't tuck that one in i'm going to overlap it right it's going to get messed up a little bit but just you could just fix it i'm going to overlap it just like that i wrapped it around the other string just like that and then as you can see i wrapped it around and then i'm getting the other string and then i'm only tucking in one side just like that this method is a little bit more advanced it's a little bit harder than the first method but it is another way to do the no knot method all right so the third and final way to do the no knot method it's a little bit different than the first two methods but they do still give you the same results so let me go over that so what you want to do is you want to put on your do-rag just like the first two methods and what you want to do is you want to get both strings put them behind your ears and the next thing you want to do is you want to cross the strings over in the back of your neck just cross them over what you want to make sure is both strings are flat when you're crossing them over so i have them crossed over in the back of my head and what i'm gonna do is keep this string flat keep this string flat and you're just simply just gonna tie it in the front just like that and i know you guys definitely recognize this way of tying your do-rag ski mask the slump god ties his do-rag like this and a bunch of other people tie their do-rag like this but what i noticed is in the back as you can see in the back of my head there's no knot the only knot is right here in the front but i've been wearing my do-rag like this and this never irritates my forehead it never gives me a line on my forehead. The reason this doesn't really irritate your forehead is because there's not much pressure pressing against your forehead, but when you tie the back of your head, there is a little bit of an indent, so a lot of pressure goes to the back of your neck, and I do think that's the reason why people get the back of their head irritated. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys to show you guys a couple different ways to do the no knot method because I know a lot of you guys have difficulty when you're doing the no knot method. So with that being said, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you guys subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Make sure you follow PhD and Waves on all social media platforms. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.